Hey, how's it going everyone? Kid Komodo here and welcome to our first ever champion guide. Uh, today we'll be looking at the man on fire, the burning vengeance himself, Brand. Brand used to be but a simple human named Keegan Road. Cold and alone, Keegan was taken as an apprentice by none other than our favorite machine gun mage, Rise. Together, they trained and searched for powerful primal sources of magic called world runes. One day, Keegan betrayed Rise and took a world rune for his own gain. The magic inside the rune overwhelmed Keegan, burning away his very soul. The being that emerged from that inferno called itself Brand and swore vengeance on all those who had wronged him. As with any champion in League of Legends, it's important to use the right tool for the job. Most of you wouldn't use a hammer to screw in a nail, and you wouldn't use a plate to drink coffee. Brand's natural role is as a counter-engage support. Without any mobility spells or gap closers, Brand will struggle to play aggressively against anything that outranges him. However, due to his high damage and percent HP shred, he excels at melting any tank or bruiser who dares to engage on him or his team, especially in the tight corridors of the jungle and around major objectives. Now, with the right mindset and experience, Brand can be played in other roles such as mid lane or jungle. But for the purposes of this guide, I'd like to focus on the role in which I feel you will have the most consistent success. Brand's passive applies a damage over time effect that lasts for 4 seconds when dealing damage with Brand's abilities. This dot can be stacked up to 3 times on any champion or large monster, and once fully stacked will explode in an area around the target, dealing a percentage of the maximum HP of anything within the blast radius. Brand's Q is a skill shot that deals damage to the first target it hits. If that target is already affected by Brand's passive, they will also be stunned for 1.5 seconds. Brand's W summons a ring of fire that will deal damage to anything within the circle. Any target already affected by Brand's passive will take an additional 25% from the W. Brand's E is a point and click ability that does damage to a single target. If that target is already affected by Brand's passive, his E will instead bounce to anything surrounding the original target. Brand's R throws out a massive bouncing fireball. This fireball will bounce up to five times as long as there is a target within range and will prioritize fully stacking Brand's passive on enemy champions. If a target is already affected by Brand's passive, they will also be slowed for 0.25 seconds when hit by the R. You will see the best results by maxing brand spells in the following order. W, then Q, then E, leveling R whenever possible. Brand has three viable rune page setups, giving you options for dealing with different situations. Each one will have its own pros and cons, making it very important to analyze your team comp and the enemy team comp to decide which one will be best for your current situation. Rune page number one will use red tree primary and yellow tree secondary. In the red tree, you want dark harvest, taste of blood, zombie ward, and ravenous hunter. In the yellow tree, you want presence of mind and coup de gras. Your minor runes will be Adaptive Force, Adaptive Force, and either Armor or Magic Resist depending on the enemy bot lane. This rune setup is an all-around solid page that will allow you to take advantage of Brand's massive damage and lingering passive to constantly proc Dark Harvest. This page will shine against enemy bot lanes with mage supports or hook-based champions. The pros of this page will be the synergy between your 3-stack passive plus Dark Harvest, plus Coup de Gras, the insane healing from Taste of Blood plus Ravenous Hunter, and most importantly, Presence of Mind. Presence of Mind is a fantastic rune on Bran due to his off-the-charts AoE capabilities. 
you are almost guaranteed to have some sort of kill participation during a fight, which means you will constantly be regaining mana through presence of mind. The extra 500 mana to your mana pool, plus the regen on kills or assists, allows Bran to skip a mana item entirely in his build path. As a support with limited gold income, the ability to skip an item that costs 3200 gold and go straight for your Leandris Torment is a massive advantage. Rune page number two will also use red tree primary and yellow tree secondary. In the red tree, you want electrocute, cheap shot, zombie ward, and ultimate hunter. In the yellow tree, you'll want presence of mind and coup de gras. Your minor runes will be adaptive force, adaptive force, and either armor or magic resist. This rune setup is specifically for killing big tanks and bruisers. It is a high risk, high reward rune page that will provide the highest damage output if you can land your full combo. This is why the rune page excels against linear, heavy engaged tanks and bruisers that have limited ways to dodge your combo. The pros of this page will be the ability to maximize Brand's tank killing prowess. When hit by your full combo, plus electrocute, plus passive, even the tankiest tanks will feel like wet tissue paper. It is important to note that you are trading the safety and healing of Taste of Blood plus Ravenous Hunter for the tank busting power of Cheap Shot plus Ultimate Hunter. Presence of Mind will round out the runes and again allow us to skip any sort of mana item in our build path. Rune page number three will use blue tree primary and cyan tree secondary. In the blue tree, you want arcane comet, mana flow band, transcendence, and scorch. In the cyan tree, you want magical footwear and biscuit delivery. Your minor runes will be adaptive force, adaptive force, and either armor or magic resist. This rune setup is used to maximize Brand's poke in lane and put heavy pressure on a healer or enchanter's mana pool. In a lane where you are going against a healer or enchanter, the likelihood of getting an enemy below 50% and proccing Dark Harvest is much lower. Therefore, we want as much poke as possible to force the enemy healer to use more of their mana during lane. The pros of this page will be the extra poke from Comet plus Scorch, the extra CDR from Transcendence, the economy of free boots in a low income role, and the mana pool increase of mana flow band plus biscuit delivery. It is important to note that because we do not take presence of mind with this setup, you will want to purchase a lost chapter before continuing on to your Leandris Torment. Brand has a very simple core item set that you will want to build every game. It consists of Spell Thief's Edge, then Leandri's Torment, then Sorcerer's Shoes, and then Rylai's Crystal Scepter. In your final two slots, you will want to build items unique to each game. Morella Namakon for heavy healing enemy comps, Void Staff for heavy tank enemy comps, Zonya's Hourglass for heavy engage or assassin enemy comps, or Banshee's Veil for heavy poke or pick enemy comps. Because each spell has an additional effect whenever they hit a target affected by Brand's passive, it is important to understand the order of your spells to gain the desired effect. As a support who does not need to CS in lane, the vast majority of the time you will be using the combo of E into Q into W. This gives you the stun on Empowered Q and the extra damage of Empowered W. Your E does the least amount of damage of all of your spells, but it is also the most reliable due to being point and click. This gives us an easy way to start off our combo. Brand's R can be blocked by Yasuo, Samira, and Braum. This means it is important to watch for their cooldowns before firing off your own combo. Last but not least, at level 1, Brand Q has the highest damage and lowest mana cost, making it a great spell to take first if you want to give an extra hard leash to a weak early game jungler, allowing them to stay healthier and hopefully return the favor later in the game.
Remember, even with the perfect runes and the perfect items, League of Legends is still determined by decision making and team play. Try to always stay positive and keep in mind that everyone, even you or me, has bad games. But you'll increase your chances of winning if you have a great mental and strong teamwork. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this guide. If you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like down below. If you are new to the channel or just haven't had a chance yet, don't forget to subscribe as well. Both of these things help the channel grow and, and reach an even bigger audience. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thanks again for all the support and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.